Hey, what's going on everybody? JP here with a quick little Jeep video. Uh, this is in regards to how to reset the oil indicator light that comes on on your dash when it's time to change your oil. So if you do your own oil change, you'll have to reset your own light. Uh, Relly and I just recently did an oil change, so I have to reset the light. I have a 2016 uh, Jeep Wrangler Unlimited. I've already showed how to do an oil change on a Jeep Wrangler. I will put that uh, card right above so you can see everything that you would need to do to uh, change your own oil. So um, I didn't video the last time we did it, but Aurelia helped me and she did her first full oil change and we had a blast doing it together. So that was great. Uh, here are a couple of pictures. All right, so I'm gonna turn on the Jeep and I'm gonna show you the oil change light that comes on. So I do have to air up my tires a little bit, but you can see right there, oil change required. So when it came on and you saw that it flashed oil change required, that's where you're gonna press the gas pedal down three times. So um, you're gonna take your key and in the ignition, you're gonna go two clicks, which is the on position. One, two, and that's when everything comes on. And in this point right now, you would pump the brakes three times really quick and it should then uh, tone and reset the oil change required. So we're gonna try that. All right, so I'm gonna turn the key now to the second position, which is the on. I'm gonna press the accelerator three times. One, two, three. And I think that just reset our oil change indicator light. So let's turn it off and put the key back in and see if the light warning comes back on. Nope. So that was it. You're great. It's pretty simple. So again, I have the 2016 Jeep Wrangler Unlimited. Put your key into the second position, which is the run on position. Do not start the engine. And then when the dashboard lights up, you're gonna press your accelerator three times within 10 seconds, and then your light will disappear. So now I am reset. If I now go into the menu again, and I look for vehicle info, now my oil life is at 100% remaining. So now I am good. So it's all reset. All right, everybody, I hope this video helped you out. If you've been trying to turn off your uh, oil change light indicator on your dashboard, it's a little simple thing. I think in the beginning of the video, I misspoke a little bit and I said brake pedal, it's actually your accelerator. Um, so yeah, so you depress the accelerator three times real fast once the instrument cluster comes on. And then you just saw, I verified that the oil change went back to 100% by going into the menu feature and um navigating to the oil info um all right thanks for watching this video i hope you liked it if it helped you out please hit the thumbs up and i'll see you on the next video have a great day everybody